today, Mr. Jones. Which just it wouldn't be the same without you. I love you. You know that? And I love you too. And I'm glad I came. Welcome back to Beautiful, Bad and Bizarre. Today we're visiting the grave of one of my favourite actors, John Gregson, who is possibly best remembered for his role in the 1953 British film classic Genevieve, which was based on the London to Brighton vintage car rally. John Gregson was born Harry Thomas Gregson in Liverpool on the 15th of March 1919 to Irish Catholic parents and religion would always be an important part of John's life. On leaving school, John worked in a factory but during the war he enlisted with the Navy. After being demobbed in 1945, John married the actress Thea Gregory in 1947. They were living in a furnished room in London and John said that initially he struggled to get work. However, that was to rapidly change as John Gregson signed a contract with the Rank Organisation and the film credits began to stack up. Jean, why didn't you listen to Michael? That's it, isn't it? You're gambling again. Here we go. You want me to go back to Cambridge and finish my studies? There's no hope for us, Jean. If you had any guts, any guts at all, you do as I ask. In 1955, John Gregson starred opposite Diana Dawes in my ultimate favourite vintage rom-com, Value for Money. Diana and John were great friends in real life and worked together several times. Diana said, John had a wonderful dry sense of humour, which I think surfaces when he delivers his lines so perfectly in Value for Money. If you love glamour and vintage comedy, then this film will not disappoint. By the 1960s, the films John Gregson had been previously making were now outdated, and like streams of other actors, John looked towards television for job opportunities, and soon landed the starring role in the police drama series Gideon's Way. <laughs> You remember Sid Taylor? Oh, of course. Met heavyweight boxing champion eight years in succession, wasn't he? Yeah. Sid and I used to walk a beat together in Limehouse when I first joined the force. Taught me a lot, old Sid. Sort of took me under his wing. Lord knows how many years ago now. Funny, isn't it? What is? How you lose touch with old friends. The 1970s were to bring more changes. John Gregson was cast in what would become his final role in the TV series Dangerous Years, which would be broadcast in 1976, 18 months after his premature death in January 1975. So, here we are today at Sunbury Cemetery to visit the grave of the wonderful and talented John Gregson and to place some flowers. John died in Somerset while on vacation on the 8th of January 1975. He was walking to one of the historic churches in the area when he had a sudden heart attack and passed away aged just 55. John, who was very much a family man, left behind his wife Thea and three daughters and three sons. The Gregson family lived in a beautiful property not far from here called Creek House in Shepparton, a few miles from the film studios. John and Thea are also remembered for giving fabulous parties at Creek House with guests such as Peter O'Toole and Vivian Lee. Thea added a small chapel to the side of the house and she remained in the family home for many years after her husband's death. She's now about 95 years of age. If you can find it, there is a marvellous interview with Thea and their grown-up children. It was on the retro television channel Talking Pictures in 2019 and it was to celebrate what would have been John Gregson's 100th birthday. Well, thank you once again for sharing this journey with me. If you've enjoyed this video, please do comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one soon for another journey back in time.